What if I told you the equator once got pelted by boulders falling out of icebergs? You're standing on a sun-baked tropical outcrop. Inside fine, tropical sandstone sits a loner, car-sized rock. Wrong place, it's a drop stone. Delivered by an iceberg during snowball earth. Here's the play. A glacier grinds up rock, the iceberg calves, drifts over a tropical sea, and as it melts, the boulder plummets into soft seafloor mud, punches a hole, tilts the layers, and leaves the mud draped around it like a splash frozen in time. Geologists read that crime scene today. An outsized clast in fine mud, warped thin layers, sometimes scratched surfaces that scream ice. These rocks formed at the ancient equator, so to park an iceberg here, glaciers had to reach the tropics. That's why we say Earth nearly froze over about 650 million years ago, oceans under a lid of ice, slushy belts, life hanging on in briny refuges. When the world thawed, warm waters laid a cap of new rock over the glacial beds. But the dropstone stayed, the receipts proving ice once cruised the equator. Which detail surprised you most? Follow for more Wild Earth stories.